Hey there folks, Rel here. I have something stupidly overpowered to talk about today. So this morning's patch, uh, SOE just came out with an anti-vehicle turret for the engineer, and it is so amazing that I'd be very, very surprised if it didn't get nerfed right after the initial money grab dies down. And before I get so excited that my heart just shuts down, let me break down some specifics. The new anti-vehicle turret is spawned from your ace tool, which uh, means it can be changed into an ammo pack, the same as your normal one. And it's going to cost you 700 station cash or 1000 cert points, so the same as most good weapons. And the anti-vehicle turret can take out a mag rider from full to dead in just two shots from behind, and from an infinite range away, or uh, as far as the render distance allows. So not only that, it's going to take about a third of an enemy infantry's HP off as well. After each shot, the AV turret is going to have a cooldown of 6 seconds. It uses a heat bar, same as the anti-infantry turret, so no, uh, you know, no limited ammo. But it's only going to have one shot before the thing overheats. There are, however, certs that lower this overheat time by a considerable amount. At max rank, which is only 500 certs, you can fire off a rocket every 4.5 seconds. So that's a really huge improvement. It doesn't have shields in the front like the monitor does, and it can't zoom. Both of these are smart balancing decisions, but I don't think they've gone quite far enough. The most interesting thing about the AV turret is that it fires like a tow launcher, and that is to say a wire guided missile. Where you point the crosshair is where the missile is going to head toward. It will however always propel itself forward. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, this seems pretty balanced, you know, no shield, slow firing time, and you get to, uh, you have to guide your missiles, and I'd say no, no, you're wrong. What this weapon does is completely reinvent the way attacking and defending is done, unless it gets nerfed, of course. Uh, so here are some things to think about. There is no cost to dropping the turret, and you can drop them very, very quickly, meaning you, you can pop in, you can fire off a rocket, and then run away before anyone has the opportunity to take you out. Sure, you won't be able to guide the projectile once it's in flight, but if you're taking out enemy turrets, like uh, outpost turrets, then there's not a whole lot that can be done to stop you unless you're just sitting in one spot for too long. Now, don't get me wrong, sniping infiltrators are always a threat, but in the standard monitor, you have to stay inside of it to deal damage. You know, you have to sit there, meaning infiltrators are going to get time to line up that crucial headshot. For the anti-vehicle turret, that couldn't be further from the truth. Also think about this, someone who is good at using the turret doesn't even have to be in line of sight to kick the crap out of an enemy Sunderer or you know groups of enemy units or tanks or whatever. That Sunderer could be hidden behind rocks, trees, uh, or any other piece of cover, and as long as you get good with curving your rockets, it's good game no rematch for enemy Sunderers, which by the way die in about 3 or 4 hits. Now I can see in the future engineers replacing a lot of annihilator squads that aren't currently dealing with air targets because not only do AV rockets deal a lot of damage, they aren't going to tell you when you're being locked onto. And what's, what's better still is that you don't actually need a lock on to fire the thing in the first place. So setting a bunch of these turrets on an incline means you get cover and you get to rain death from above. As a matter of fact, given the amount of damage these turrets currently do to infantry, uh, and the severe range at which they can do it, I wouldn't even use the standard monitor over these rocket turrets unless I was in like a, a biolab choke point. As a matter of fact, I might not even do it then, because I can curve the rockets around corners, meaning I'm out of harm's way no matter what I'm doing. Alright, so that pretty much sounds like a rant, but quite honestly, I'm going to use the crap out of this weapon until either I get, you know, I prove myself wrong, or until Sony takes another look at this weapon. Because just by using it for the trial period, I was completely blown away more than any other weapon that I've encountered. The potential uses for this are numerous and deadly. So here's my mission to you. Go out, trial this turret, or buy it, and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Is it overpowered like I think it is, or is it, I mean, is it going to be once people really start figuring out how to play with it proper? Or is there a balancing element that I'm simply not seeing? I would like to do a more in-depth review on this in the future, especially just uh, uses for it, you know, proper positioning and that sort of thing. But uh, I'm going to wait a little bit because I, I just I have a feeling that SOE is going to nerf the thing after hearing all the complaints that are going to be piling up in the forums. But that's about it. Thanks very much, folks. Rel signing off.